Hello and welcome back. And uh, in this video, we are going to be creating this uh, pulse animation. So as you can see, uh, this is a simple animation uh, that can achieve uh, basically this effect. I was uh, developing something uh, for a personal project and uh, I thought like, you know, this effect is actually really neat. So I just wanted to show you like, you know, how you can very easily do this with simple knowledge of animation. I of you guys. So let's go ahead and get started so i'm gonna go and uh, what i've done is basically i've created this uh, v stack and i have added um this image uh basically it's not the true representation let me get the build going there we go so this is our current image that we have okay and uh we have a z stack and an image uh here i'm using uh, plus circle fill uh, with font as 90, foreground as white, and shadow, okay? So uh, what we're going to do is uh, behind this, uh, we're going to add a circle uh, to give it a uh, to give it a background. And uh, what we can do is uh, we can say uh, frame is going to be width 100, height 100, you're also going to give it a foreground color, blue, and uh, some shadow, stone, or 25. Okay, there we go. That looks good. All right, so uh, with that, uh, we can actually uh, keep a track of the wave that you're going to create that's going to pulsate. Um, it's going to be uh, through this uh, state variable called wave, uh, wave and it's going to be... Uh, um, going to be turning on and off or basically true and false depending upon uh, like you know when the animation completes so we are simply going to create another circle here and uh, we're going to say this circle is going to have a stroke with line width of 20 okay so or you can actually raise it to 40 and uh, and then it's going to have a frame width and height as 100, 100. That way it looks close to this. And uh, then uh, we're going to have a foreground color for this one. And this one is going to have foreground color as blue as well. Okay. And um, then we're going to have apply the scale effect to the outer ring that we have created. And the scale is going to be depending upon whether the value for the wave is, wave is true or false. So if a wave is true, that means we're going to show it uh, full uh, scale, like twice. And uh, otherwise, we're going to show it like, you know, with one, uh, which is going to hide right behind our view. Okay. Uh, we're going to add some opacity as well. So for a wave value, going to say if it's true, opacity is going to be 0 0.1 and 1. So it's going to fluctuate between those two values. And then we're going to simply apply the animation. And we can say uh, we need animation is, is uh, in out with duration as one. And uh, we also want to repeat uh, forever with auto reverse. So there's no repeat count. And um, so, okay, uh, we need repeat forever, repeat forever, then auto reversal to be true, okay? So it's gonna reverse the animation and we're gonna apply another modifier of speed, how fast we want our animation to run. And we're gonna run all this on a peer. So we, we're gonna attach the event on a peer on this and we're gonna simply say self dot a wave dot toggle basically toggle between uh, true and false and there you go with all those settings in place as you can see our nice pulsating effect is created now if you want to have two rings or if you want to just uh, like you know make it like outward <coughs> excuse me you can do that like that and uh, you can make it fully disappear so like that and uh, what you can do is you can create another wave so I'm gonna copy this 
and uh, I'm gonna create wave one and exact same thing I'm gonna copy it with a little bit different timing um, so let's say 0 0.7 for this one and uh, let's give it wave one and uh, we're gonna actually resume and you're gonna notice that we have two rings uh, that are going like that All right, so so that's uh, actually how you can create multiple ring, uh, multiple ring uh, pulsating animation. Okay, so I just wanted to show you, like you know, because it's 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 rather easy to um, do all these animations and create these these small components uh, with Swift UI. So uh, uh, I thought like you know it'll be a good idea to show you uh, a, a new trick on the uh, animations. Uh, we haven't learned uh, animations uh, yet. Uh, we're gonna explore animation, uh, like you know, in future videos. Uh, but this is just a sneak preview of uh, what we have in store for you upcoming. Okay, cool. So this is it for this video, and uh, thanks again uh, for watching.